Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and to this video today I will be painting this sepia landscape and it's quite easy and simple and I hope you will join in and have fun with me. All the materials I will be using for this video for this painting are listed down in the description box so go ahead and check it out. First thing I did is prevent the entire paper and afterwards I'm using cadmium yellow medium to paint in the part where my horizon line is and also downwards into the lower part where the ground is going to be and also where the water that could be a sea or maybe a lake is also going to be. A little bit lighter color I will use for the sky and also cadmium yellow medium but just a little bit watered down because I do want the part around horizon line and also the water to be darker. Then I added a little bit of sepia into my cadmium yellow medium for which I do not really want to be so light as the middle part of my sky because I do believe it will just give some interest and variety to the sky. After the paint completely dried I drew my horizon line which is just beneath the middle part of the paper and then painted it with mix of sepia, ultramarine and cadmium yellow medium just that part around the horizon line and because I do not want the harsh line I smudged the paint. I did not prevent my paper. Before you can also do that. You can prevent your paper and then just paint in that part around the horizon line. I did not. So I've used a larger brush to smudge in that paint and then use just the clean water just to go downwards into the lower part of the sky upper part of the sky when turn, when turn paper around it is a lower part and then because I did also want to, to prevent my sky for painting the clouds and then I've painted in those clouds and for them I am using a little bit smaller brush because in a smaller brush you can just have a little bit less water. The larger brush you use the more water there is in that brush so I did not want too much water in my brush so I've used a smaller brush and just tapped in the clouds and when painting wet on wet which I did Use, which technique I did use here for painting the clouds. They, the paint will spread a little, it will bleed a little and just give that nice shape of the clouds. And also I am using now a smaller brush. You can use a detail brush. I'm using very very small round brush and it is actually a detail brush uh, to paint in those smaller clouds and I've just again tapped in the paint here and there to add those smaller clouds. And when the, that paint completely dried I'm using a flat brush to paint in the part just beneath the horizon line and for that I am again using sepia in which I've mixed a little bit of ultramarine just to have the same colors as I do have in my sky and of course a little bit of cadmium yellow medium and I did actually add just a little bit but just a little bit of mother lake red light and those are the colors I used for the for that ground for the beach and as you can see I'm not really trying to paint in in one same wash but I did and purposely painted uh, like that, that that the color is not the same on all the part of the beach because I do want some parts to look a little bit darker, some a little bit lighter. It I don't know, it, it just gives more believability and realism to that painting even though this is far from a realistic painting. But you know I did want it to have diversity in that so I did not try to paint one similar wash. And then afterwards just again with that flat brush I've added a little bit of horizon horizontal lines to the part where my water is and those lines are a little bit thicker on the part nearer to us and a little bit thinner on the further away and a little bit uh, further apart where near to the on the part that is near to us and a little bit closer on the part that is further away I believe that will just give the impression of perspective and that is that that part is a little bit further away from us. I hope that made sense you know I know what I was thinking I hope you understood what I was thinking. So 
after that I've added a little bit of trees bushes in far uh, in further distance so I've used first a lighter wash of sepia and cadmium yellow medium and then just tapped in a little bit more paint here and there just to make make it look like those are the trees and some parts of the trees are a little bit darker and some are a little bit lighter and then with a smaller detail brush I've just painted the upper part and just you know to make it look as though there are some branches there so I've actually went out those lines that the bushes are and just painted those little thicker line I would do that usually with a script brush or liner brush but I have actually moved temporarily you know I live half a year I live in a rural part of my country and for about five or six months I live uh, on the coast so I just moved recently and I forgot my script brush that is just so unbelievable I was just so sad when I saw and I could, just couldn't believe that that's actually the brush that I love the most and use the most but I've forgotten it so now I'm using a detail brush or a smaller round brush whatever I have back to the painting now I've painted first I've painted the tree trunk for my palm tree and afterwards just painted the branches and now I'm adding the leaves to the branches with a smaller round brush again if you have a liner brush or a script brush you can use that brush to paint it or a detail brush whatever brush you like to, pay, to use for painting in the thinner lines and uh, as I said I've just added then those lines and after I finished with my palm tree I've just decided to do it was actually my reference photo so I've added two people walking on that water it could probably be some I don't know what that is if people are walking it's very shallow water I guess so I've painted it those two two people and you know not really trying to paint people because they are far far away and so I've just added the impression of the people didn't paint the line but just tapped in some you know maybe head and some parts just making it a little bit wiggly line to make it look as though there are people and the lower part I've just uh, painted in a wavy line to make it look as though it is a shadow in the water and with that I'm finished with my painting and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching and for all your support and thank you so much for sharing your paintings on Instagram I love to see that you, you just I can't tell you how much that happy that makes me and every time I see any painting from any of you it just wow my heart is full I'm so happy I just I never thought when I started making these videos I actually never thought that people will use my tutorials and paint using my tutorials and when I see that on Instagram oh I'm just I'm overwhelmed I'm just so so happy and thank you thank you thank you I cannot tell you enough how grateful I am for every single one of you and every single comment you give me and and support and encouragement it really does mean a lot to me really really does mean a lot to me and you can absolutely believe that and well I guess if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do that do that and I'm planning to do a lot of nice things for you in the future a lot of nice tutorials so do that subscribe to my channel and well I guess I hope I'll see you next time bye